let's look at homosexuals and gay behavior. Let's look at another class of sexual problems. And what, what about intersex? How many of you heard of intersex? Not intercourse, but intersex. What about um, hermaphrodites? That's another name for intersex is hermaphrodites. They have both the male and female parts. And back in, in before the days of the um, ultrasound, where they can look, now they can look at a baby at three, four months along, they can tell you the gender, are they a hermaphrodite? Back in the old days, they had to wait till the baby was born. What is it? Oh my God, it's both. Well, what would they do? Well, first thing they would do is take a blood smear. They'd look for bar bodies. Bar bodies show up, oops, that's a Russian version. Bar bodies would show up in the females. Okay, there's these little dots on the inside of the nucleus, particularly white blood cells. These little spots there, you can see the arrow pointing to them, they're called bar bodies. They don't exist in the male, XY, but they exist in females, XX, so they represent uh, one of the two X chromosomes. And so when they would, you know, the baby's still being wiped off in the delivery room, they take a blood smear, they run in, look under the microscope, they say, okay, there's bar bodies there, genetically this baby's a female, which is true. So they cut the penis off, cut the testicles off, and they do a little plastic surgery to make them totally a female. Uh-oh, baby's 10 years old. Up here, the baby's a boy. So there's two things going on when it comes to sex. One is the DNA, what you are, and then there's the pre-optic hypothalamus, which covers eating, drives, depression, sexual drives, and all that kind of stuff. And when you have a, um, a child that's born from a congenital event, let's call it a congenital event, if they're a homosexual or a gay male or a lesbian woman, they have about 30% of the cells that a heterosexual has in that preoptic hypothalamus. So you can actually count the cells. You don't even need to know anything else. You just count the cells and if they're below a certain level, they're gonna be lesbian or gay. Because mama was missing something in the first three weeks of pregnancy when that part of the brain was being formed. OBGYN didn't warn her. She's out there having a great time. One out of 700 babies is born with sexual problems. It happened in the first three weeks of pregnancy. It's not a choice. It is not a choice. They're driven to be homosexual, gay, or lesbian from the time they're three weeks old in pregnancy can't pray him well because it was determined that three weeks is an embryo. You understand what I'm telling you? This is based on 600 autopsies of gay and lesbian people. So, um, I love stuff like this. This is a brilliant move. I don't agree with uh, most of President Obama's stuff, his policies, but this is beautiful. The Russians have a big thing against gay people. So who does he send over there for the Olympics to represent us? A gay athlete. I love it. I mean, that, is, that was a brilliant move. But these people are wonderful people, right? There's 10 times more heterosexual, um, what am I talking about? The heterosexuals who are pedophiles, pedophiles. There's 10 times more heterosexuals who are pedophiles than there are gay people. Okay, so you can't say, well, they're a pedophile. You, know, you can't do that because it's not true. Okay, so I thought this was a brilliant move. And I was up in Canada. This is a wonderful tear jerking story. Here's two guys who are married for 65 years. One died at 94, the other one died at 96. Two old uncles, they just harmless and, you know, just were great members of the community and church members and did all kinds of things <coughs> for the Rotary Club and the Lions Club and all that kind of stuff. And, um, how can you say anything wrong with them? They're just wonderful human beings. Their mama just screwed up. Why? Because the OBGYN screwed up. Now, for those of you who don't know a lot of neuroanatomy, this is kind of a, a rendition of the human brain. If I can clarify this for you here. This one here, the hypothalamus, that arrow is pointing right to the pre-optic hypothalamus, the part of the brain that's underdeveloped called 
hypoplasia, which means underdeveloped. And when it's underdeveloped, they're going to be homosexual male or gay male or a lesbian female. It's predictable with gravity. You can count the cells and you know. Okay. 